Okay, there were some shark attacks off the coast of Sharm el Sheikh, right? And Egypt blamed the Mossad. <laughs> I'm not kidding, right? What did, I mean, it gets so. What did a shark swim by with a yarmulke on his head? It's the December leg of the multi city comedy for Kobe tour of Israel, and we're in the town of Ranana. This comedy event features some of America's top stand up comedians. Los Angeles funny guy Avi Lieberman organizes twice yearly tours to raise funds for the Kobe Mandel Foundation. On May the 8th, 2001, 13 year old Kobe Mandel and a friend were killed by Arab terrorists near their Tekoa home. Kobe's parents, Seth and Sherry Mandel, started a foundation in their son's memory that runs programs of healing, primarily for families of terror victims. One of the things about uh, the comedy show for myself and my wife and my family is it really turns around sort of the tragedy into something much more positive, much more uh, enlivened. I read Sherry Mandel's book and it, he, it said in the book like he loved stand-up comedy, he loved jokes. I wanted that, you know, even just the sound of it, comedy for Kobe sound right. Lieberman's friends on the stand-up comedy circuit are happy to help benefit this cause. I think when you guys, when you dance, you have more fun. There's some white people dance, there's a freedom. <laughs> there's a freedom because, see, the thing is, white people, you're not, uh, you're not married to the beat, is I guess what I'm trying to say. I met Seth and his wife, Sherry. Just, just to see how they, they've dealt with their, their pain and their tragedy is amazing. It was back in 2002 when Lieberman first organized the morale-boosting comedy tours. The Intifada was at its height, and bringing comics over to perform was a challenge. Now, comedians are eager to come. The comics in the States know about it now, so they hear from the other guys that I've brought, and because I've brought guys that have, you know, very good reputations and were very funny, and I want to keep it that way, they come back, that's sort of my mini ulterior motive, to bring the comics here, have them have a great experience, and then they come back and spread the word to the other comics. I didn't realize how, how special Israel was, until I, I, I went to Jerusalem, and, um, and I'm glad I made the trip. I remember when I was younger, another kid had made a racial slur towards me. I told my dad about it. I'll never forget what my dad said to me. He said, Greg, it doesn't matter what religion you are or what the color of your skin is. There'll always be some people out there who aren't going to like you, because you irritate me. <laughs> I said to the audience, I said, Kobe would love to hear you laugh. Um, and it's true, he loved jokes, he loved, um, he loved laughter, and I think it's a very appropriate uh, memorial. The Kobe Mandel Foundation recently extended its activities to help all Israelis dealing with loss, including relatives of victims of the recent Carmel Forest fire. And back home in Los Angeles, Avi Lieberman is already signing up comedians to volunteer their services for the tour next June. This is Marian Libor for Israel 21C. Find out about more interesting stories at israel21c.org.